Welcome to today's video. It's going to be super quick sees today. It's just a quick little update on our October daily prep. I have truly not had any time to craft, but I did want to show you this next page that I'm planning out. And these are just foundation pages. Like they're not finished. They're just something to get me started um, so that I don't have to work so hard on coming up with an idea for the page once October comes. So this is what we have so far for the cover. I really love the hand stitching detail on here, all the little stickers. I used the acetate to help protect that hand stitching. Um, I want to add a little tab to this page so that it can be easy to turn. Um, this is the second page and it's just a little base page. I just did little banners and I feel like you can use this um, as a little tuck spot. So, you know, you can tuck your pictures in there. Um, super cute and again not finished I did think that I was gonna add little ghosties like this because these can also be used to hold pictures just like that so I thought that was a cute die to incorporate into this style of book um, you can also use this as a journaling piece um, but the next page I want to share with you is this page right here so I wanted to make it interactive so I used this pocket die and what I did is I cut out the spider, I um, adhered it to the, I glued it to the paper and then I ran it through with this die, through my die cutting machine. This is what it looks like in the back. So that when, let me take this off. I need to create a little pocket in the back. Um, and I can do that by either gluing it down, creating a pocket, or just gluing this page down. I haven't decided how I'm going to do it just yet, so stay tuned for that. I don't know if I want to close this off. I kind of, I really love the paper on this side, so I kind of want to leave this open. So I might just back this with some paper and create a little pocket right here, you know, like maybe some tags. But then I cut another one out, and you can tuck it in here and then have your spider fit. Wait, hold on, where am I? <laughs> have your spider fit right in here. There you go. It's like, and then you can remove this and your spider's still there even after you remove this. This can be used for journaling. Um, I think it's just really cute and fun, a cute little tag. And then maybe you can even, I'm thinking about putting this spider right here and then this will be a little tuck spot as well. So let's say we have a picture that we can, you know, tuck right into there. So that is where we are. Not really too much progress. If you haven't picked up these dies, it, it, what are you waiting for? They are so, so good, you guys, for creating little pockets, especially in mini albums. Um, I think they're so fun. So I'll make sure to link the dies that I am using in the description below as long as well as the paper collection because I'm obsessed with these um images they're just so fun like look at the little heart cheeks aren't those so cute <laughs> the little pumpkin i mean they're just fun look at this guy right here he's like hello take me home with you so that is the slow slow progress on my october daily um let me know if you are creating an october daily and what do you think should i close this page off or should we use it you know because you know how i told you that these open um so i don't know if i should use it like one of those pages that opens you know or if i should close it off anyway let me know what you think in the comments thank you so much for watching don't forget to like this video subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i will talk to you soon bye for now